Hey guys, we're back with another 299 dagger update. And what can I say? Wow, what a pistol. This thing is great. Uh, just got back from the range. Just want to do a couple little first impressions. As you can see, the pistol looks completely different than it did in the first video. And you can also see that there is a black frame uh, with no upper or no slide in this bag. So reasoning behind that was purchase the original one for 299 which was the FDE uh, slide and the black lower. Gotta be honest with you, not a big two-tone guy. Ended up picking up a $99 lower from PSA and just made the, the pistol uh, completely FDE. Unbelievably, again, comes with a case. Um, I think these things sell for like 30 or $40 on the website. Not, not really sure, but personally, you could keep your case. Just send me like a $50 uh, frame. Anyways, uh, you can also see that I added a Hollow Sun HS407CO X2. Uh, this has the 8 MOA dot, I think. It's not a dot, it's a ring. Uh, this will be my first red dot on a pistol. Um, and I also added a O light, which is surprisingly nice. Uh, got that off Amazon, picked up the Hollow Sun off Palmetto State when it was on clearance. Both are incredible. Uh, I can't say enough about this freaking pistol. Um, I think putting the FDE frame on the FDE slide coupled with the light and the optic look great. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's not about looks. It was just a preference for me. I didn't really feel the the black frame with the FDE slide. At least not this FDE. It's a little bit lighter um, than, say, a Glock and FDE. Um, anyways, let's do a little range talk. Just got back from the range. Shot about 200 rounds through it. Um, and I had a zero, zero malfunctions, um, zero hiccups zero anything it just ran what I what I fed it um, range was crowded so I was shooting at like a 20 yard target uh, and not having the optic zeroed uh, it was more of a functionality check range visit for me rather than a zeroing range visit for me so I did get pretty close to zero uh, still needs a little bit of time on it but let me tell you um, this thing is great I will also say the trigger isn't as bad as everybody makes it out to be. Um, I feel like the reset is great. It's a it's a really positive reset, and I just like to ride the reset. I don't like to let it fly. Um, squeeze the, pull the trigger. I'm holding it back. I, I slowly let it creep out. It resets, and uh, just right back on target. It's great. I really have no problems with the trigger on this pistol. So my recommendations to people who are buying this pistol to shoot it first. I would put a few few hundred rounds through it before you make up your mind on what, uh, what if anything, you want to do as far as a trigger is concerned. I like the trigger. Maybe I'm weird. Um, I mean, I've, I've spent hundreds of dollars on triggers for AR builds, um, which, you know... I gotta be honest with you, an AR trigger, a GI AR trigger is, is a completely different ball game uh, compar comparatively speaking uh, to this trigger. Um, but this one, I like this trigger. I have no problems with it and uh, I don't know that I would change it. Maybe if I put something together on this one I would put a different trigger in it. But as of right now, love the trigger. Um, funny thing is, pulled into the range realized that when I got there um, all I did was field strip it check for barrel obstructions before I left um, I noticed when I left the house but I completely forgot was the rails on this thing looked kind of dry so I didn't have any engine or uh, sorry I didn't have any gun oil with me so I ended up uh, getting to the range pulling the dipstick on my RAV4 skimming a little bit off the dipstick and coating the rails a little bit with the engine oil and like I said to you before ran completely flawless had no issues whatsoever 
fed everything, cycled beautifully, uh, no problems. Not even a, a, a weird hiccup with a mag or anything. Uh, still using the original Magpul mag that came with it. I'll probably grab a couple more of those. Um, but all things considered, guys, I had zero problems with this pistol, and quite frankly, I love it. Um, take a look at... I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. That is the primer strike. Looks really nice. No issues there. Um, again, very consistent, very controllable pistol. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about it. And man, I can't even believe that, that these things are $299. I will uh, recommend these things. Albeit, I've only had 200 rounds through it, but it ran beautifully. Uh, I can't imagine it getting worse as it gets more broken in, but let's just say for 299, what a deal. What a pistol for 299. I'll go back to my original statement. Light is great. Um, this thing adjusts. You can swing this little tab over, slide it back to the trigger guard depending on how long your index finger is, or slide it out as far as you want. For me, it's flush, lock it down, and you have a little bump for on, bump for off, great little light, super robust. Um, it has wireless charging, you actually USB charging, uh, plug your USB cable in, and there's a little magnet here that it clips on. Great little feature. Um, and what can I say? The the Hollow Sun 407 CO is great. I love the optic with the ring rather than the dot. Uh, I do have an astigmatism, and it seems like the ring for me is a little bit better than a dot. It doesn't seem to be like a, su a sunburst effect um, for the dot. Uh, but like I said guys, I do still have another frame that I'll probably put a fancy slide on if I get to that point. I mean, let's be honest, I'm not going to just have a frame laying around. So at some point in time, I'll keep an eye out for, for deals and uh, we'll go from there. But right now, uh, I'm going to grab some more mags, get some more range time on this, on this baby. Um, and I love it. That's all I can say about this thing is I love it. Uh, I will continue to post videos as I continue to go to the range with it and put more rounds through it. And uh, any hiccups or problems or anything, I will certainly post on it. Um, one thing I wanted to, to tell you guys is um, when it comes to these cases, I just realized this today. Let me slide this down. I don't know how many of you guys are into like EDC bags or... Um, bags in general as far as having a get home bag or a to go bag or uh, I mean I hate to say bug out bag is that so uh, ridiculous anymore but um, these I didn't realize this at first but this is just hook and loop here and these little pouches come off you could pull you could gut this entire case transfer these into your EDC bag or your to go bag or your get home bag. I think that's awesome. I didn't even really realize that until earlier today. These things all peel off and you can uh, put them in your, typically um, most of the bags have like a panel of the softer hook and loop and you can just place these things right in there. Uh, that That's awesome to me. Uh, again, the bag is just a, a plus or a perk, but um, what can I say? These, these daggers are great. I'm not getting paid to say anything like that, but uh, the way it, it uh, grips in the hand, the texture on the frame, everything. I, I really, really like this pistol. I'll definitely recommend it to anybody that's looking for a pistol for first time use or EDC or anything. Uh, my plans for this thing moving forward are I'm going to have a custom holster made for it by one of our local guys and more mags, more range time. And like I said before, I'll give you guys updates as I get more time uh, behind the pistol. So 
guys, thanks again. Uh, there's a lot of views on my last video. I really appreciate that. And uh, thanks again for everything. Liking, like, comment, subscribe, the whole YouTube garbage that goes on. But uh, PSA Dagger, $2.99. Get yourself one. You won't be disappointed. Thanks a bunch.